Well, cool. All right, so in this case, what they do is they give us a population model where the population is equal to 548 times e raised to the kt, where k is going to represent our, um, our, our growth, um, kind of like the rate that everything is growing, and t is going to represent the years. So they say in, and remember, 548, that's in thousands. So that's really 548,000. Um, but then they say at t equals 0 in year 2000. So then they say in 1970, the population was 241,000. So to be able to determine, which is, there needs to be an e, determine our population in 2010, we need to know how is our population growing? What is that rate? So we need to determine k before we can determine what the population is going to be in 2010. So our population in, 2000, in 1970 was 241. And remember, I'm just going to rewrite this in thousands. You can add the zeros if you want to. But if you add the zeros here, you have to add the zeros there. E equals 548 times e to the k. And now our t is going to be 30 years back. So that's going to be negative 30. So now what I need to do is I need to solve for k. So to do that, I'll divide by 548. So take my calculator, which is over here. And I do 241 divided by 548. That's going to give me a decimal, which I'm just going to leave. So therefore, I have 241 divided by 548 equals e to the k times negative 30. Now again, we can just rewrite that if you like as negative 30 k, right? So now, I need to get this off the bottom. So what I can do is take the ln of both sides. By taking the ln of both sides, that I now goes to 1, just leaving me with ln of 241 divided by 548 equals a negative 30k. So to solve for k, I need to now divide by negative 30. So therefore, I can now have my k equals and what I'll do is now I'll just do the ln of 241 divided by 548 and divide that number by negative 30. And what I get is k is 0 0.0274. And that's going to be approximate as I'm going to round that. Um, so I know my k is going to be that. Now I want to be determined what is the final population? What is my p when k is going to be in 2010? So that means my t is going to be 10 years. So I retake back my model, and I say p equals 548 times e, my k, which is approximately 0 0.074, 0 0.0274 times 10. So now to find v, I'm just going to take e, raise it to my k times 10, and then multiply that by 548. So when I take my whole value, I multiply this by 10. I take my e, and I raise it to that value. And then I multiply that by 548. And therefore, the population in thousands is going to be 720,612. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to rewrite this and actually not in, um, in thousands, the population would be 720,612 people. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the population when given um, some years, and you need to determine your growth, uh, uh, growth rate. Thanks.